this hole number one. So, let's see how much ice we've got. I'd say it's about yeah, three to four inches. I think it's fine. Let's just venture out a little further. Almost out to where I want to fish. So I'm just drawing a line with these holes and I'm going to walk this safe line. I don't know if the ice thickness may vary out to my left or my right. So all I got to do is just walk back and forth along here and I know that it should be fine. It's very, very consistent. It's about three and a half inches everywhere I've drilled. So that's good. I'm going to bring my stuff out. I think we're on. I think we are on. The ice is so super clear, it's gonna be pretty cool to watch them come up if we catch anything. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Backroads Angling. So three or four days ago, this pond was open water, but we've had a couple really cold nights, got down close to zero degrees, and voila, we got fishable ice. It is between three and four inches, so it's, it's about the limit of where I'll typically go. I've seen people go skinnier than this, but this is about the, the limit of where I'll go. This new clear ice is about the best ice you could possibly have in terms of strength. So I'm pretty confident in the ice strength. I do have my floating vest. I do have my ice picks. I've got a new Vexilar I'm trying out. It's the uh, FL8SE, I think it is. Let me try that out today. Don't worry if you like seeing my deeper sonar. I will be using that also. It's just I didn't have everything charged up. I got minnows, I got wax worms, plastics, whatever. We can do whatever we want to do. We got a couple hours here. We're gonna try to catch fish that are of the master angler quality. I'll measure them against my rod and we might get a rough estimate, but it really doesn't matter. We're just trying to catch some big pan fish. And I also have ice skates. So we really feel like getting crazy. We can uh, ice fish on ice skates. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I really appreciate everybody watching Backroads Angling. Let's catch some fish. Okay, trap is set. Get this down around the nail. All right, I'm finally ready to jig. It's turned out to be a pretty nice day out. It's probably like 25 degrees, but there's no wind. I'm right here. Okay, ready to jig something up here. I just saw one flicker pass. There we go. There's something lifting off bottom. Oh yeah, this one's smoking right at it. Oh. I pulled it away from him. Anticipated the bite. Man, they're swerving me today so far. What if I just hold it still? Yep, there's one. Could be the first ice fish of the year. It is not bad. I'm like a true noob, I, I got it in, in, stuck in the transducer. Oh, we can see him. Bluegill. That's cool, we're gonna fight under there. Tank bluegill. Whew. Good colors. Look at that. Nice fish. And away he goes. Alright, sweet. They will bite. <clears throat> Another one down there. Drop him back in. I'm going to stop right above him. Comes another one. Now we got the pack on us. Yep. Oh. Came loose. Dang, look at that. Look at that feeding frenzy down there. Holy crap. Can't even tell the individual fish. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. 
see if we can see them under the ice. Bluegill, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Can't get him through the hole. Dang, man, I, I just want to let him fight underneath there. I don't care who you are, that's a tank bluegill. I don't care where you're fishing. That's a big fish. I forgot to bring my bump board. I was talking about master angler fish and I can't even officially measure them. That's probably nine and a quarter, nine and a half. But. All right. Not touching the minnow so far. I'll throw it on the spoon here in a second. That might get us crappie in the big bass. One of the things I figured out right here on the, these last couple fish is that they don't want it moving. Move it a little bit to get their attention and then just stop it dead and it seems like that's when they're coming up and eating it. You can see there's something off bottom. Right there. I can just sit down there. Oh, here comes one. He's charging right at it. A couple of fish right here. I should eat it. Yep, there we go. Finally got another one on. Let's see if we can see him fighting down there. Oh yeah, big bluegill. Massive, massive fish. Here we go, everybody. It's a nice bluegill, huh? So far, I'm not seeing the crappie. I, didn't, I haven't seen any on the underwater camera either. It's been just a bluegill fest here. Still fish down there. Go right down in the mud. Usually if you put it in the mud, then slowly lift off with it. Oh yeah, never fails. There's one. Coming right up at me. Coming right up at me. Oh, there he is. There he is. Female. You can see how they're biting. I just barely caught him right on the edge of the lip there. It's a nice looking female bluegill. Nice colors on it. Seems to be fish off the off the bottom. We also seem to be getting a lot of interference. What's that all about? Bubbles or something, maybe? One right in the mud, and I bet we get one right away. Make that bold claim here. Just coming up at me quick. Quick. It's fun though. I'm gonna bring my kids here. They're gonna have a blast. Oh, that's a bass, look at that. Bass, <laughs> nice. Hopefully I got that on camera. First non-bluegill catch. Therefore he is very special to us. We'll give him proper release here. Nice, 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 nice. They do exist. Might be another money hole here. Another one screaming in. Just keep it rising. How high does he want to come? Let's stop about 10 feet. They stop at about 10 feet. This one's going to come higher. This guy's committed. On there. I think. Yep. He was running right at me. They're fighting pretty good. This is my homemade rod. So this is the first video I ever made for backwards angling. Was I made this rod. And that is a monster bluegill. Just a monster. Jeez. <laughs> nice colors too. Wow. OK, 
Okay, we got a good hole here. Keep it rocking, keep it rocking, keep it rocking. I only moved about uh, 10 feet, but that little change gives them a little different perspective. They're finding it in a different place now, and for some reason now they like it. And I got my homemade rod. Like I said, this was the first thing I ever did, the first DIY project I ever did on this channel was with this rod, this one right here. It's still my favorite rod. I found an old rod with a tip that had the exact action that I wanted. I just got lucky that way. And uh, the action's just perfect. It just folds over nicely, absorbs the fish pretty well. Caught a lot of nice fish through the ice on this rod the last couple of years. So. Hey! Yeah. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. You wouldn't have to have a tape measure, would you? I don't. Okay, are you going to come over here and fish again? Yeah. Yeah. It's about 13 to 14 feet. Oh, really? Yeah. Thing going on over here. Oh, there's a bass. I think there's a bass on the camera. Yeah. It's like something bigger swimming through. Oops. It shut off. Something shut off on me. Uh, no, don't do that. All right, folks, sorry about that. Underwater camera. I had some good shots of fish coming up close, too. That's depressing. I had a lot of cool interactions with fish there, too. They were coming up and nosing the camera and everything. All right, I'll keep you posted on that, but I think underwater camera is done for the day. Just keep this trying this hole. They're interested. Play keep away a little bit. They're all over it. That guy liked it. Bluegill. They're loaded down there, folks. That's a long one. Should measure that one. I know, just let me get a rough measurement. Don't give me crap about this. Doing the best I can. He's about, I don't know, maybe right there. Get a rough estimate later. He's probably still in the nine and a half to nine and three quarter range, but he's longer. He's built different than the rest of them. So if we were going for a master angler, this is the type of build we would, we'd want to have. Nice and stretched out. Doesn't get old seeing them fight under the ice like that. Are we getting tired of nine and a half inch bluegills or? Sometimes you take what you can get, I guess. Very first ice here in Iowa. That screen just lights up as soon as I put that down. Got him. Funny you take a pause for a second and then let them calm down a little bit and then they get fired up again. So another bluegill. There we go. I'm really liking this Vex. We're trying a lot of new things, so I got an ugly stick. Over here, wait, yeah. I got a new ugly stick rod over there. I got my new Vexilar I'm trying out. Underwater camera was new at the end of last year. So we got a lot going on here. Oh, there's one just came, showed up. And he's flying up at it. Yep. Feels nice, feels nice. What is this? Feels nice. Oh, bluegill. There he is. Let him fight for a while. See him? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Don't get very many chances to fish on clear ice like this. Another bull bluegill. See ya.
this one's pretty charged up. Finally, we got one. It's been a while. Been a bit here. Let's see. Something besides a bluegill. Oh, there he is. Guess what? Dang, that's a nice female bluegill. That's a really long fish. I don't think that's our 10 incher, but it's long, more than it's tall. Let's measure on this rod. I think that's pretty close to 10. It probably isn't quite, but it's, it's gotta be close. It is really long. Okay, tail's at least at the end of the rod here. There we go. I mean, I'm gonna say it's just short of right there. It's it's like right there. Okay, we're in a little bit from that mark. We'll measure that and see, but a really nice female bluegill right there. She's going home. Finally, another fish comes in. It's been a while since I marked a fish, probably like 10 minutes. He seems reluctant. Oh, the mud trick got him. The mud trick got him big time. He fell for that. Dropped it in the mud and he, once I pulled it out, he was not gonna give up on it. This guy's fighting good. It's a good fish. Get out of the transducer. There he is. There he is. Nice one. Female. It's a long one. This guy's getting hotter for it as he comes up. He's committing. Are you committed? No, scared of it. I'm going in the mud. He got scared big time. Waiting to feel him. There he is. <laughs> that guy just took a long time to get him to go. Oh, it's a bass. There we go. Getting a few other bass in here. Sweet. Maybe that's why it was a little harder to get him to commit. Let's switch over to a spoon. Let's switch over. It's about uh, three in the afternoon. So we'd be getting into prime time if we stayed a little bit longer. Oh, there's another one coming up. They might start to get aggressive here. They're starting to charge. Man, look at all those fish. Got another one. Might be able to start hammering them here. It's getting it later in the day. There's the fish. Another bull bluegill. There, we got some interest. Oh, geez, he's coming up fast. That was a no doubter. Once he came off the bottom, it was no question what he was going to do. Same thing. Dude, where are the bass? Huh? Where's the crappies? Where's the perch? Tell us where they are. Oh man, just screaming in now. Isn't it crazy how their moods have changed? What happened? They want to chase now? So eager to chase. There's another one. Oh. Little guy. Relatively speaking, a little guy. Normally that'd be a big bluegill for most ponds. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for me out here at the pond. Caught a lot of bluegill, a couple bass. Not too bad, caught a lot of big bluegill. Anyway, it was fun to get out here on early ice. If you do go out yourself, please be safe. Wear your ice picks, take a buddy, wear a floating suit, tell everybody where you're going, all that good stuff. It's very rare that you get a fish on clear ice like this before the snow comes and covers it all up and tonight there's gonna be a blizzard. I won't be able to do this again, so this is the one time I'm probably gonna be able to do this all year. And uh, so cool to see the fish come up through the ice and see them fighting under the ice. It would have been good for the underwater camera. The underwater camera footage was looking so good for a while until the underwater camera malfunctioned and shut off. So ah, that was really disappointing. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time with some more backroads angling ice fishing action. See you later. Okay, I just remembered that I didn't skate while I was ice fishing. So I'm going to test it. Might be skates out right now. Even though ice fishing is over. Let's see if I 
Blue red eyes. All right, let's ice skate. It's kind of a shame it's gonna snow tonight. I'm not gonna be able to do this anymore. We are skating though. This is like the ideal ice skating conditions. It's better than if the Zamboni was just on it. Again, I'm following my safety line here. I don't know how thick it is anywhere else. So I'm just skating along my safety line. Oh yeah. By tomorrow, this is all gonna be screwed up with snow. This is last chance for ice skating as well. <laughs> 